What's up, Creek Squad? Alright, fam, we back at it with another one. So, I am racist. Again, again, somebody's calling him racist. What is this about? Come on, man. Come on, man. This is church, bro. Have you not watched any of his other videos? Obviously, um, have you not know that Simba is one of his close people? Do you not know that Mal High is one of his close people? Do you not know that he literally is a, a he's a, a rap artist, bro? All right, so I want to hear what Church has got to say. Thank you all. Thank you for all the new subscribers. I love how the channel's blowing up. Big shout out to the man Church for actually getting on and commenting on my channel. Um, big, big shout out to him. Thank you all. Y'all have been just so awesome to me. Y'all have been showing so much love. So we're going to sit back. We're going to sip. And we're going to listen. Hi. Right. So a couple of my longtime supporters hit me up a couple hours ago. I was like, hey, uh, can you uh, answer this guy's questions and kind of like react to his uh, video? And I was like, sure, why? And like, because he's saying you're racist. And I was like, <sighs> so I thought to myself, I was like, you know, I don't really have to explain myself. I've done that enough over the years. Not only that, Facts. people who are racist are not afraid to tell you they're racist. Facts. They're that way for a reason. And they ain't scared to hide it from you. And it don't matter if they're white or black. There's white and black racist people. So let's see what he's got to say. And I'll answer his questions or comment as bluntly as I always have. With this Upchurch be jamming, I can't even lie. I was not expecting Upchurch to be this hard. Thank you. I appreciate that. Humble. Humble dude right here. Awesome dude. And, uh, yeah. Check this guy out, man. He's, uh, he's dressed to impress. We here. Here we are. Let's do it. Sorry, guys. I know that got loud. Hold up, damn it. Now, you know, this is where the problem is going to come into. Now, y'all said this dude doing hip hop. Y'all said he's a good rapper and all this. It's hard, by the way, it's hard to get my audio level and the reaction audio level to the reaction of the reaction the church is doing. So, just y'all bear with me. I'm going to keep playing with the volume and hopefully everybody will be able to watch this video and it'll be nice and clear. So, all right. Let's ride. What in the hell this man doing with a slavery flag? Oh, God. I mean, if you want to call it a slavery flag, here we go. you can. This is a free country. You're allowed to. I personally call it a rebel flag, and I wear it the same reason Lil John, Chris Brown, Vic Mensa, Yellow Wolf, Kanye West, Luda, Luda Chris. Luda. I wear it the same reason they do. Symbolism of rebellion. Come on. Swallow a hollow, make you digest a 50 caliber. Your future's not looking so good. Tomorrow's not on your calendar. Do away with the amateurs. They've been here too long. We leave you coughing like the sound effects you hear on these songs. We peel your cat back with a black mat. Till your back crack. Ah, bow, 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 bow. Hey, shout out to the to the goats out there, man. Yeah. Oh, man, for real. Are y'all serious? Do y'all know what that flag stands for? I know what it stands for and symbolizes for me. I have it tattooed on me big as shit. Do y'all know what that flag this man keep it? Does it say keep it alive? No, it doesn't say that. It says keep it flying. What the hell? Oh, hell no. Hell no. I'm sorry, I can't bow my head to this, this shit. I'm sorry. He got a damn, he got a slavery flag in his hand. I mean, that's fine if you want it to mean that for you, but it doesn't mean it has to mean that for me. Oh, come on, guys. Is this what y'all are promoting? This is what y'all are promoting. Rebellion against the system? Yes. Slavery? No. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed, guys. Man, I really like Up Church, man. Well, I mean, if we had an actual conversation and right. you were a level headed guy as well. I'm sure we'd get along, but if you're one of those people who's like, hey, here's my assumption of you. I automatically think this of you, and yes, without any clarification or communication, 
you're not going to get anywhere. You. I don't like this. Change it. I'm going to go, no. I really do like his music, but damn, when you start holding up a Confederate flag, you start dividing your fan base. No. Well, I guess that would make sense. A lot of my black friends over here, and I could call one over here right now, will come over here, rebel flag the fuck out and loves up church, and he said, or we're actually was talking about buying the VIP ticket for the 8th of Corbin and driving from here all the way to Kentucky, but it's just right after Christmas, it's not really the right move. You know what I'm saying? I got a family. I can't just really dip like that, but that we really considered it. He also has a wife and child, so... It's hard for us to jump up and drop four hundred dollars on a VIP and take off to Kentucky. Um, yeah, we could pull the camper that I just bought, and uh, you know we could we could do it, but it would set us back. Um, if he comes anywhere closer to it towards Atlanta, anytime soon, I'm going, and hopefully he'll see me and he'll recognize me once again, and maybe I'll actually get to talk to him. He'll call me out or whatever, and uh, figure out about this reaction party that he is wanting to host. But anyway, let's get back to Ryan, and, uh, yeah, it's just, no, my, my black friends love Ryan to death, so, I don't know. Sense, not for me, but it would make sense for a fake artist who's just doing it just to do it. But that's not the case for me. I've been the same person the entire time. Right. So my fan base has never been, like, divided because I'm like, look at this rebel flag. It's, it's just kind of been the same the whole time. Because I'm not changing for anybody. I'll talk to you and have a conversation, but I'm not changing for no one. A lot of artists have used it for symbolism, and then when they got attacked, they're like, oh shit, I'm sorry. Yeah. Not me. Luke. I mean, who? That's why people respect me, I think. Yes. Because I don't bow down to no one. Right. As well as any other creed or color shouldn't bow down for anyone either. You shouldn't change how you are. Preach, preach, just because preach, someone doesn't like it. You should just stay how you are because... If y'all always wonder why I say church, 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 everybody at the concert, when we were coming in, when we were going out mostly, but you would hear church, 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 and then way over there someone else would sound off, way over here somebody else would sound off, and it was just, oh man, it was epic. That's who you are. It's like, oh, everybody who's that, get out the way, yeah, keep it... Because this is what y'all got to understand. I'm not knocking up church. He is who he is. He does what he does. But for me to sit up here and bob my head after my ancestors have been victims of slavery to somebody who's holding up a flag that symbolizes the slavery that they went through. Look, I know I am honky white. I'm proud of that. But it's not my fault for slavery. I'm 30 years old. The thought of owning humans is just weird yeah and i'm not responsible for any weirdness anyone done a good billion years ago no, and it's sure. very evident that the internet and this symbol clash together with people promoting what they want big companies as brainwashed people into thinking that brainwash them so much brainwash people to the point where they're like look i hate to cut them off i'm gonna back up a little bit sorry about the ding and ding and ding and i just posted something for sale and a lot of people obviously want it so if y'all could just ignore that, thanks. And let's go back just a hair right here. Boom. Want big companies as brainwash people into thinking that brainwash them so much, brainwash people to the point where they're like, "Hey, white equals Trump, Trump equals white." Like there's not black people they voted for. I mean, now listen, I do not go bash this guy. Okay, he's he's. He's probably from somewhere where he doesn't understand this. This is why I'm doing this video. It's not to be like, hey, let's go attack this guy. No, it's for better understanding is what it's for. But even in the beginning Facts. of this video, as soon as you seen the symbolism, you like, you stopped and you're like, well, I don't like this song anymore, which is cool. Totally your opinion. But as soon as you seen the symbolism and like got worked up, you know, the you song. also said, would that say keep it alive? No, it didn't say keep it alive. And, I, and I'm not saying that to bash you. I'm, I'm just saying, look where your brain automatically went. Everything bad about him. He, he said, keep it alive. Everything bad about him. Song bad now. Don't like song now. That's what's keeping people divided. Right. False assumptions, lack of communication. That's it. 
And I know a lot of y'all don't understand. A lot of y'all don't because y'all y'all are not in my situation and y'all are not from my ethnicity. So you possibly can't understand. Which is true. Which is I, why. I grew up in the city, y'all. I grew up around a dominantly black area. Okay. I now live in a dominantly black area. I have a lot of African American. I have a lot of black friends, a lot of just Americans, however you want to word it, but, you know, I mean, we're just Americans. We're from here. We live here. It's us. And I just happen to grow up in that area, and I guess that's what they're fixing to get into. I don't know. Um, you know, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I peep a couple minutes of the video or try to because I, I can't wait and I can't record right then, but I have not seen this video whatsoever, none of it. And um, so I, I am trying to throw my little two cents in here but not over speak Ryan whatsoever, but yeah, I, that's, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like we're from different areas, but it doesn't mean we're from different cultures. It doesn't. And see, that's the problem. Y'all think y'all own a culture and that we're supposed to belong to the culture that we own. And I, I just disagree, man. Um, I, I get a lot of hate from my gold teeth. A lot of people are like, you're white. Why are you rocking gold? I like my teeth. It is nobody's business. It's no, and, and it's not saying it rude. It's not, and it's not me backing down. It's just saying it's what I like. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I like Greek Squad. I like Upchurch's music. I like him as a person. After watching his videos and learning more about him, I like church. But no, I didn't know church. I didn't know nothing about church. I've actually luckily been able to speak to church and uh yeah man that that's just you have to go in and you got to do your research you have to look more into shit you know what i'm saying uh because I, I get a lot of grief about my teeth then i got a lot of people who are like damn bro where'd you get your shit i love it blah blah blah, blah, blah. but you know at the same time i'll wear like a, a little spinning ring i got this today and it came in today i got my little bag right here and everything just just came in i, I like jewelry i just i don't know but anyway, let's let them get back. I just, I wanted to put that in there that, yeah, we're from different areas, man, but that doesn't mean we have to clash. No one owns one person's culture. It doesn't work like that. It's, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go. We have to talk. A lot of y'all don't understand. A lot of y'all don't because y'all, y'all are not in my situation and y'all are not from my ethnicity. So you possibly can't understand. Which is true. Which is why we have to talk. Which is why I don't. I'm not gonna look at a black dude and be like, "Yep, he don't like me, cause black." No, that would be a false assumption. I don't know him yet. I gotta talk to him first. And y'all can call me triggered. Y'all can call me the word that rhymes with trigger. You can't do that, bro. I mean, you can if you want, but it doesn't help anything. No, it doesn't. Look, you've already gotten even more hostile <laughs> and more angry. Talking to and yourself. And then even thought even more bad. Like, y'all can call me that if you want to. I don't care. It's like. Right where did time? Where did that even come from? Time out. Exactly. I don't fucking like. Nobody wants to call you that. Nobody you just, said you're no already like that. thinking that people are going to call you that. Yeah. Because I, why? I because know. brainwashing of the internet, bro. Plus, let's be real. Me and you, as men talking right here. Ninety-nine percent of the shit motherfuckers on the internet does not transcribe in the streets. Me and you both know that. I don't really care. I'm going to say my opinion because I don't give a damn. But I am going to keep reacting to Upchurch. I'm not going to discriminate, and I'm not going to hold that against him. He has his beliefs. Do I agree with it? Hell no, I don't agree with it. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. That's some real ass shit. And if we were somewhere and somebody was, like, telling you, hey, well, you can't you can't do this. I want you to, I'd have your back and be like, hey, yo, shut the fuck up. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. Right. Cause that's the American thing to do. Am I upset? I'm disappointed because up church. Come on, buddy. Why are you holding up a Confederate flag? Because I feel like it. Why do you do anything you do? I could easily turn around and be like, "Why are you hating on it?" It's just like you said earlier in your video. You said, "Well, y'all might y'all might not understand because y'all ain't from where I'm from." Yada yada yada. Same over here. It's no different for us, man. There's people that live here where I live, and I have friends that are the same color as you. And they have ribble flag belt buckles, 
Rebel flag stickers. Rebel flag jackets. Just like I said. Since y'all are the same color, go ask them why, dude. And if a white dude is coming at you being like, hey, why are you doing this? Why? Da, da, go da, look da, at the video. With, when you come get somebody video. like me, and I go, hey, what are you bothering him for, motherfucker? See, this is why nothing gets better. It's because everyone's pushing away, pushing away, don't want to talk, don't want to have conversations. But let's be real for a minute. If you, as a black dude, had a white homie who you talked to and understood that has Confederate flags and shit on him, if you was friends with me and some white dudes who look like me tried to fuck with you, the enemy dissolves, man. Because then you would have two people who are polar opposites standing up for each other. Right. Instead of building groups and Beautiful. building groups and Beautiful. clashing them together. It doesn't fix anything. Somebody put in the comments, what do you... Tell me what the Confederate flag means. Since I'm wrong, ah, you can't say that. Tell me what it means then. I know what it means. You know what it means to you. Right. You know what you've been told it means. Yep. I, I'm not running around going, woo -hoo. I know, I'm Only smoking, humans. I'm dragging my bed. Not the Jones are on the ground, they looking like they hate me. Yes. Yep. Because that's that's the diss that everyone. Ooh, you're white trash. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, bitches, I am fucking white trash. Get em. Now what? No one's called Get me white trash in years. You know why? Because I'm like, yep, I'm white trash. Yeah. Now what? Exactly. Come on, guys. This is what y'all said was hard. It's what you said was hard too. Until you seen a, a red square with a blue X and some stars. Yep. Then it wasn't cool anymore. I'm sorry, so Brooklyn was hard. That's his hardest song. This song is not that, it's, it's not, it's just not all that. This is, dude, this, your body line. this song in concert is ridiculous. Go watch it on my channel right here. Language, your movement, your, everything was, it was filling it. Until your eyeballs seen an image and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. the switch went off. You're like, nope. Okay. At first it was kind of like Creek Squad, this, this, and that, but when he put that damn Confederate flag in my face, boy. Thank you. That solidifies what I just said. It, w it was hard until you seen an image. Then it wasn't no more. You stopped liking the song because of something that doesn't even make a sound. Oh, man. It, it kind of reminds me of how I'm considered an American, how, what people think about me. My music video... Reminded you what everyone in the world thinks about you. <laughs> Why? Damn. And it's all right. Your boy up church got bars. I'm not taking anything away from him. And a lot of people are not going to be able to handle this reaction. But people who've been rocking with me from day one, they know that King Jet don't hold his tongue. Yeah, I don't hold you. my tongue. I okay. say what I want to say. And I do what I want to do. Yeah. Rebellion, a rebel, that's exactly what I'm saying. See, we, we think the same, bro, but you're letting the image get in your way. Out of these three rappers that we've discussed in this reaction, I know who the coldest is at this point. I, I don't even have to listen anymore of church. I can tell you right now, NF might just be the GOAT. He might be the best out of all three of these guys that y'all talking about. NF does have really great music. I like him. I have a lot of his music, too. I like that. When I grow up, that shit's hard. Not even a Confederate flag, to be real. It's a Confederate flag on a flag. But uh, it's done made you so angry to where you're like, yep, and, and he's better than him. He's better than him now. It's like, uh, that's cool if you think that. That's that's not what he thought, again, free bro. country. I don't care what anyone thinks about me. But look how it's changed your, your attitude. Your whole... From the beginning of the video. It changed his whole insight. It changed all of it. When... He was gonna pick church. I mean, he literally came out swinging, bro. Like, like, man. Come on, man. If it's really something so minute, so small, so simple, that stop people from liking your whole song, like that, that's hard to deal with. I, I couldn't imagine as being an artist like that. That's got to be some real, real petty ass shit. You know that. You know, because every person counts, man. Every every fan matters. Every person that likes the song matters. Um, 
damn, dude. I, I hate that you have to deal with this shit. Um, you know, I, I'm here to support and follow and, and rock with the music and, and I love the jokes, the vines, all of it, man. I, I'm, you know, and NF does have good music. Um, you're humble as fuck. That's, that's awesome. And I, I'm even going to go check this out. Uh, King Jet. I'll go check him out and see if I can talk to him. See if he'll message me back. And see if my image that I portray bothers him. Because maybe my image is wrong. It's not mine. I'm not supposed to have it. I don't know. To this point. There's no gangs in the country, boy. <laughs> is that what you think? <laughs> I hate to break it to you, boss, but yes, there is. And a lot of them are way more dangerous than any of the gangs in the city. Do you want to know why? Because you don't know who's in them and who isn't. Who do you think gets away with more stuff? People who live behind gang reserves with 20,000 acres that nobody's ever owned? Or people in the city where there's cameras everywhere. And people on top of people. You really don't know nothing about the country, Bo. Which is fine. Because you ain't supposed to know about the country. You're not from the country. Right. But if you had a homie... I've been through both. ...from the country... Yeah. ...then you would know. I will say this. Upchurch is cool. You know what I'm saying? He can rap. But for you to, to support a Confederate flag that specifically clearly support slavery no in the war against slavery no once again bro you're trying to tell me that i'm supporting something that i've never fucking seen or experienced in my entire life that you've never seen or experienced in your entire life i don't know what to tell you that's that is my blunt answer to that and it's factual i don't know how i feel about that man i don't know if i can support that i just can't Bro, who in their right mind supports owning humans? Answer me that. Any color. I don't know one person. Any as far as bars and music wise, he's yeah, he got it. But like the 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 the, the what he's promoting, I just can't agree with it. He's promoting what himself. I'm promoting. Okay. Show me one video of me promoting slavery and owning humans. Right. And I will write you a check. For one million dollars. <laughs> Go find it. Good luck. You ain't gonna find it. Cause I don't support that shit. But you know what? Shout out to Up Church. I'm not I'm still gonna give him his credit because I'm real like that. But y'all know damn well if there was a black rapper walking around uh, with a racial statement towards your race, directly towards your race, against your race, you would cancel that guy. Man. <laughs> Uh, a racial statement is someone saying, hey, I don't like this color person because of this. It's not a flag that was a symbol of a collective of states for sorry, my dog this southern trouble. region. If that was the case, then you need to ban the American flag as well. What do you think, the Ku Klux Klan didn't use the American flag also? Google it, bro. They 100% did. I'm just calling it how I see it, dude. I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna mention that and put that out there. But me, I'm a little bit different. I don't really don't give a damn. You can do what you want to do. Just don't step on my toes, cause that's how you, that's how you get busted. What you just said, I've been saying for years. Just so you know. <laughs> this dude got a Confederate flag on his shoulder, and I almost don't see any black people in the crowd. Oh, there's plenty of black people in the crowd. And they have the flag, too. Well, that's not my problem. Hmm. That lets me know that his support system... No, that's... It's wrong, though, Church, because they're out there. They're out here. There's a lot of them that be in this house. No, it's not true. It's, yeah. My one homeboy's dad is mad at him right now because he rocks the Confederate flag. 
with your name on it. And he tries to tell his dad all the time, I mean, in big fights, like kicked out of the house type fights. It's, it's real. We don't disclose no names or no pictures or none of that, but yeah, like that, that happens. I would love to talk to you, church, bro. You have no idea. Yeah, mostly white people. Um, why? It's a one-sided support system. They all believe the same thing. <laughs> oh my God. You, I'm you, doing a video, baby. Are you for real? Uh, because I can tell you right now, I don't think there's going to be any excited black people at a concert in the crowd dancing around to my, yeah. Yeah, they're there. Your title is, is this racist up church? And you're saying shit like that? All right, man, whatever. Keep slavery alive. Because this dude walked up here with a Confederate flag in this video. Yes, the song's okay. It's not even all that. Okay, so now, I, sorry, I had to jump in, Church. Okay, first of all, Church walked up with a button-up shirt on stage and talked to us. The flags get thrown in from the crowd because people want Church to hold the flag and hand it back to them. And he wears like six or seven of them. And they're not all Confederate flags. They're all kinds of different flags. I threw my tree, my Creek Squad flag up there. A girl got hit in the face. Shout out, Tracy, so much. You and your old man for getting me my shit back. I'm so sorry you got hit. I'm glad I was able to give you a bag that I found. And that's a whole nother story and a whole nother video. But she said it was worth every bit of it. The cop got hit in the face with the flag that I threw. The cop wouldn't give it back or something so the crowd got in a fight with the cop it was crazy it was crazy it was fucking great but no we were not all white and everybody seen me with my grill and everybody i was up there by myself with a whole bunch of country ass dudes braided up just like this dripped out and with my teeth in and i had a great time great fucking time Sorry, that, that aggravated me. Let me go back. He is now hating on the music because of the flag. It has not a freaking thing to do with a damn thing. Keep it 100, man. Keep it a buck. Keep it a buck 50 shit. Is, is this racist up, church? And you're saying shit like that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, man, whatever. Yeah. Keep slavery alive. Because this dude walked up here with a Confederate flag in this video. Yes, the song's okay. It's not even all that. I ain't gonna lie. To you. Sad, man. Come on, yeah. So I don't got aggravated. Sad. You had a flag get you that worked up. Well, I and mean, it's coming from this is a white boy me. with it tattooed on him. You gotta stop doing this kind of shit. Everyone has to stop doing this kind of shit. Vice versa, it don't matter. We, we all like gotta stop we, doing we like what we this got. kind of That's shit. It. Just that we have social media now, and people are more antisocial. We're going backwards, like real fast. I did a big video about that on my TikTok. Look at all this shit, all this bickering and shit people do. And it went big. What happens if some motherfuckers come over from overseas and don't speak no goddamn English, trying to fuck all of us up? We all gonna still be bickering about, I don't have a flag. Well, we fucking better not be, because cause we're going to need each other, bro. That's all I got to say. Love you guys. See y'all later. All right, man. Me too. Creek Squad. Love you, fucking. Um, this video is brought to you by Current. Today, no, we're going to look... It's not. Mr. Ballin's awesome, too. But, uh, yeah, man. Love you guys. Comment, like share subscribe tell me what y'all think about this bullshit um y'all are awesome man yeah